everyone welcome to the vlog from Oregon if you are new to my channel I am a competitive weightlifter I compete for Team USA and I am out here in Oregon training with Catalyst Athletics that is my team I am training with some of my teammates that also have traveled here for training camp and we are focused on the Pan American Games team trials meet that is coming up in a couple weeks that's what I'm really pushing for right now is a competition where the top 30 athletes, regardless of weight class, are going to go compete for, I believe it's eight spots, to make the Pan Am team. It's going to be kind of a long shot for me. Um, there's a few lifters above me on the rankings in my weight class, but I'm going to just give it my best shot and at least try to maybe hit some PRs or just walk away from knowing that I gave it my best effort to try to make the team. And I'm really excited because my training's been going really well. This training camp is trying to just like tune us up for that meet and give us a chance to work with our coach one-on-one -on -one in person. So I'm really excited to be here. In today's vlog, I'm going to focus on my diet and give you guys a look into a full day of eating where my focus is 100% on performance. So today I'm totally focused on fueling to perform, to hit big lifts, to get stronger. We're in like the meaty part of the cycle where every training session is really hard right now. So I'm just focusing on fueling my body to feel best in training and make it through these really long workouts. Most of my workouts right now are about three hours long and they're heavy, they're hard, they're grueling. So I'm actually bumping my calories up this week and trying to just maintain my weight and come out of training camp feeling good, ready to finish out the training cycle back at home in my garage gym for the meet. I am coming off a week in the Bahamas on a cruise, but I did really well staying in shape on the cruise. I'm actually kind of surprised how good I felt jumping right back into training after a few days off. I did some like hotel style workouts while I was on the boat and I did try to track my macros even though I was eating at a buffet for every meal and that paid off because I didn't gain any weight and I didn't really get out of shape. I jumped right back into my programming, no problem. It was a little sore, but overall that week didn't really set me back so I'm really happy with how I handled that. The macros I had been following for the last few weeks were 55 grams of fat, 285 grams of carbs, and 115 grams of protein. And uh, if you watched my last physique update and diet update, I had just started maintaining around 65 to 66, and I've held on about that weight, but my composition has changed a little bit since then. I've actually gotten a little leaner. So I'm gonna show you guys where my composition is at today. Hey. camp I was following those same macros but yesterday I was feeling super beat up from training and just really exhausted because another factor here is elevation and I was really dehydrated and had a headache and just felt like crap so I did a refeed day yesterday I didn't track I ate literally as much as I could and I feel so much better today and I actually feel like leaner my body is just happier I needed those extra calories so today and the remainder of camp, I'm gonna add back in about 200 calories because I think I'm losing a little bit of weight and I don't wanna do that. I don't have a scale in this little house, so I'm just going by how I feel and how I look in the mirror to gauge where my weight is at. That's totally okay to do while you're traveling, by the way. That's how I kind of coach my clients to do it. So the remainder of camp, I'm going to shoot for 60 grams of fat, 315 grams of carbs and 115 grams of protein just to give me some extra calories to try to get through the week because I am training five days this week when I usually train four and three of those are in a row and I never do that. So this week is harder than normal for me and I just need to get through and try to hit some big lifts at the end of the week. So far this morning, I've just had some coffee. I've been kind of tidying up a little bit. I've been doing some work. I wish I could show you guys, but I can't yet. It's actually top secret what I'm working on right now. I'm stuck on East Coast time, so I've been waking up really early, like 5.30 or 6, but it kind of feels good to just get going. 
I'm going to try to get my teammates to jump on this vlog with me today and you can kind of see the way that they're tracking their macros as well. I had to go in the main house to cook real quick. So if you can go in now, it's the <laughs> I'm making a ground turkey and fried egg skillet that I like to make a lot. It's one of the few things I know how to cook and can't screw up. I've actually done a vlog before on how to make this, so I'll link that on the card here. 100 grams of ground turkey, two eggs. Tablespoons. Total macros for the breakfast is 16 fat, four carbs, 30 protein. Yum. <laughs> Sir Beth's finally Hi. alive. Hi, <laughs> I think she has to do a double day. Not jealous of that. I'm making my pre-workout shake now. I'm doing a scoop of Universal's pre-armed, which is like caffeine and beta alanine and creatine. Put some Gatorade in it as well. Strawberry lemonade and fruit punch, hoping that tastes all right together. Gatorade will give me 22 carbs for an inch of workout. Is that all fog? That looks cool. Yeah. Having a bagel for 50. Three carbs and some almond butter for 10 carbs, 16 fat. Usually that would be like too much fat for my day-to-day -day macros, but I'm bumping up my calories today, so that should fit easily. Sarah Beth's making some concoction in this cup for her pre-workout meal. Some kind of shake to give y'all another good idea. So I like to um, do um, fast like some fast carbs and so I like a shake because it's liquid and your body's going to absorb it pretty quickly and so it's just ice it's as much spinach as will go in and then I like I love to do the frozen raspberries and leave them in the fridge um that's the key don't freeze them um and then and then blueberries or some other fruit and it gives you you know fast acting carbs and whatever protein powder you really like so it's really awesome she's like a pro at vlogging too that was, that was really good, one take. All right, so here's my finished product. Protein is 25 grams. The, um, you can add as much fruit as you want. It's about 30 grams. And I ate a Pop-Tart already as well. And then um, the fat is zero, so. Super great for training right before, and my body's gonna absorb it quick, so I'm ready to go. We're about to lift heavy. I got a few more of these left on my website. Thank y'all so much for your orders last week with the launch of the sweatshirt. It went really well, and I can't say how much I appreciate you guys supporting me and my business and just the vlog, everything. I just truly appreciate you guys, and I'm really happy that y'all love what I'm putting out. About to go get warmed up for training. I'm gonna throw my hair up and jump in the sauna first. I will pack a Pop-Tart for between exercises. I know today is going to be a doozy. That's why I'm talking a lot about intra-workout carbs. I gotta make sure I have carbs somewhere in the middle of my training because it's gonna be such a long, hard workout today. Is it hot yet? Yeah. Okay, sauna up, nice and sweaty. The bow's in, <laughs> ready to lift. Thanks.
be lazy. That was what you did. Nice.
holy crap, I'm so happy right now. I just hit an all-time jerk PR, 114 kilos, that's 250 pounds I just put over my head. So happy! Just feels so great when like all of my grunt work, like coming back from injury and just putting in the work day after day to get back to where I was and I'm finally like exceeding that. It is the best feeling, I can't even describe it. Just love it when hard work pays off. So cliche to like trust the process, but more I was like trusting myself knowing that I could come back from being out to injury yet again. I think this is gonna be a great meet for me in a few weeks. First thing I'm gonna have post-workout is a scoop of whey protein. This is cookies and cream. And I'm going to have a pack of troll snacks for carbs. Trolls have 19 carbs. Perfect, quick glycogen replenishing. I'm now having a turkey sandwich. I'm really picky, so it's literally just meat and bread. <laughs> I'm going to finish up work now, do my client check-ins, and then go hang out with Sarah Beth for her second session. Heading out to the gym for round two. Luckily, I don't have to do very much. Just have abs and my shoulder rehab. And I think some leg accessory stuff. I have this Quest bar. Protein bars is where I get a lot of my fiber from because I don't like vegetables and I like to stick to the brands that have a bunch of fiber. Quest, oh yeah, Combat, all those have a lot of fiber. Like this has 15 grams. Macros on this are eight fat, 21 carb, 21 protein. Are you ready? Huh? Are you gonna crush? for the day, but some extra hey. protein will kill me. I had a little bit of chicken and a lot of rice because I need a bunch of carbs with some teriyaki, so I'm over my protein today, but that won't hurt me very much. Now I'm going to have some cereal to finish up a lot of carbs I still have left. I'm at like 225 right now. I'm having two servings of this cinnamon toast crunch and calling it a day. That puts me at 55 fat. Oh wait, I only put in one serving. 58 grams of fat, 270 carbs, and 140 protein. So I didn't end up needing the extra carbs today. I just don't feel like I need it because I did like a refeed yesterday. I think that's why. Still a lot of food for the day and feeling good. In training today, obviously hitting that jerk PR. Having a really great time at camp. Hope you guys liked this video and found it helpful for some ideas to fill your macros with. I have a few spaces open right now for nutrition coaching, so hit me up if you're looking for a coach. My website is in the description. I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.